Anyone else notice how long the chin looks when you lift the neck up? Is it just me? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. It looks a little long though. Either way, it's Naruto. But now we got a better one, which is the SH Figure Arts Sage version of Naruto, which looks a hundred times better. And I can't wait to get this guy out of the package, which I've already seen him, but you guys probably haven't. And I'm guessing that's why you're here to watch this review. So here he is, the Naruto SH Figure Arts Sage mode. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and crack this baby open for you guys. But first, there's one thing that I have to get into, which I always do. That being that sexy ass package, and my god, this is a sexy ass package. I don't care what anybody says. I love the boxes for the Naruto figures, and this one is definitely no exception. We got Sage Mode Naruto right there doing the Shadow Clone Jutsu. I'm not sure, but I can almost guarantee you that says Naruto. Don't know what the hell that says. Warning, ages 15 and up, so you kids don't need this. Naruto Shibuden, Tamashi Nation, so you know it's real Bandai. Uzumaki Naruto Sinimo got the little leaf symbol right there. That's cool. On the side, you got Uzumaki Naruto. Same thing as usual. Got that cool ass image right there of him with his hand out. I'm pretty sure that says Naruto once again. SH figures, blah blah blah. It don't matter. And then we got some cool images on the back as usual. And then a whole bunch of stuff we can't read. Funny, I got this from Toys in the Box. And guess what? Everything is still in Japanese even on these parts right here. Yeah, I think that's weird, but I don't care who cares about the box, even though it looks good. Let's go ahead and get right into the figure. Now, just as I thought it would, this figure looks absolutely awesome compared to the first one. And when I saw the promo images, I already knew that it was just gonna turn out a whole lot better. The only thing I know a lot of people wish is that it came with the jacket, but how I'm looking at it is I know that a lot of people didn't like the first one so we just got to look at this as an upgrade and hopefully we do end up getting one in the future with him in the sage mode jacket but i mean he didn't really wear it that much in the fight with pain so not that big of a complaint but yeah it just didn't turn out like everyone was expecting but still the figure is absolutely beautiful and it feels great to have in hand so if you're thinking about getting it you need to go ahead and purchase this guy because also he is a web exclusive so yeah don't let it slide by you before his price goes up which hopefully it doesn't naruto stands at about a little bit under six inches i'd say about five and i don't know three fourths maybe i don't know good size looks about right and i think they got him right because naruto is actually pretty short in the anime all the way up until i believe the last so yeah height wise i think he's right and one thing i will say about this one that's different than the other and i'll give a detailed description of the differences at the end of the video he is a whole lot slimmer i guess i don't know it just feels like real thin the feet are a lot smaller that's one thing i can definitely say the feet are smaller and um the build is different everything about it it's an entirely new sculpt and that's one thing that i really like about it and they fixed some of the issues that the first one had and honestly so far this figure is flawless in my opinion so with that said let's go ahead and get on into the articulation articulation wise you got the head on a ball peg as usual look up and down pretty good all the way around. I don't want to turn it all the way around, but you know how SH figure arts go. Oh, uh, that neck right there can move out a little bit, can turn a whole lot better than the first one, surprisingly. Yeah, he can look all the way around with that thing. That is awesome. Uh, this right here is plugged in here. It comes like that. The little thing on the back is bandana. You can still turn it a little bit. I don't want to mess with it too much because I don't want to mess up that plastic. But uh, yeah, and now what you guys have all been waiting for, that cool arm movement, way better than the first one. Uh, it's almost like the android 17 sh figure arts which is why i don't know why they didn't do that with the first figure of naruto because they made 17 before him so they should have already known how to do this but yeah no restraints right there whatsoever moving that arm out that's what i like double jointed elbows as usual with all sh figure arts um wrist on a ball peg move all the way around however you want it diaphragm joint right there a little bit effective not too much but i mean i don't care it's cool Got some movement at the waist, can turn just a little bit. He can't turn side to side too much, but I don't care. Got the um, drop down legs a little bit, can kick out that far. 
kickback that far. That's pretty good. And I ain't seen nothing like that since Ant Man. So yeah, I'm digging that. That's cool. Knees right there, double jointed as usual. And then no turn right there. But oh well, you can move that however you want to. Got an ankle pivot. I know some people will be happy with that. And you can definitely use that toe hinge. So yeah, articulation wise, this guy's amazing. And while I'm on it, let's go ahead and talk about this thing right here, which a lot of people hated with the last one. Moves pretty good, man, because of this thing right there. There's a ball peg in there and you can just stick it right back in there. And there it is. The pouch is great, looks good on him and it doesn't drop off all the time. So as I said, everything that was wrong with the first Naruto, they fixed with this one. This one is absolutely beautiful. And right now, not gonna lie, this figure is getting a 10 out of 10 for me so far, but I'll tell you at the end of the review what I think about it. But yeah, moving right along to some size comparison. Here he is standing next to the SH Figuarts Kakashi Hatake, which it looks very good next to. As I said, it's in scale pretty good. And here he is also standing next to the SH Figuarts Sasuke Uchiha, which looks Okay, you can definitely tell Sasuke is in need of an upgrade, which is why they got the new one coming out that I can't wait for. So hopefully it turns out to be as good as this Naruto. But yeah, they look all right next to each other, but he looks great next to Kakashi because Kakashi is just about a perfect figure. So moving right along. And here he is standing next to his father, Minato Namakaze SH Figure Arts, which is good, but I feel like Minato should be just a little bit taller. I don't know, a lot of people think this figure is too short, and I'm definitely one who thinks the same thing. But uh, yeah, here he is standing next to him, and once again, it looks great. And here he is standing next to some figures of a taller scale, the Greg Capullo 7-inch Batman and Nightwing. And I don't know, still looks about right in the middle. Actually looks like that size would be right on Batman, not so much Nightwing. But uh, yeah, moving right along. Now for accessories, he comes with a uh, fist hand. He comes with two, obviously, but I'm only going to show one. Uh, he comes with an open palm hand. This is for grabbing one of the accessories, which I'm about to show, which would be this. The same thing that he came with the first one. Uh, this resin right here actually looks a little bit better than the first one, mostly in color. I think it's the same exact piece, actually. But yeah, the color looks better on this one. So yeah, hand for that comes with a regular open palm hand, two of each, obviously, like I said, which is cool. Same thing the last one came with. Two gripping hands, which come for the next accessory I'm about to show, which is the kunai. He comes with two of these as well. And he comes with two alternate faces, which are dope, man. These things look great. This is one of him angry looking to the side. I think this is probably from when he fought pain. And then a regular smiling face, which looks a hundred thousand times better than the first one and last but not least the coolest thing that he comes with which will be this Rasengan this is freaking cool it's real thin uh it's made entirely different than I thought it was going to be the only thing I really don't like is this right here and that's because that's where the Tomashi stand comes into which also comes with it but I'm not going to show that because I don't feel like getting it out you guys know what a display stand looks like but yeah it comes with this thing right here and that's the only thing that I dislike it just looks I don't know bad honestly this thing is light enough i feel like he probably could have got it in his hand pretty easily if they would have pegged a hole in one of these sides right here and he i'm pretty sure he could have held it up no problem but yeah either way it's all right i just i don't like that but yeah anyway off of accessories moving right along needless to say my opinion of this figure did not change one single bit throughout the whole time i was doing this review honestly man this figure is great and i feel like if you're a naruto fan there is no reason for you not to get this figure because it's freaking awesome, man. It just, it captures Naruto so great, man. If you just look at that face, you can't say that that's not Naruto compared to the first one. You guys want me to show it? Do you really want me to show it? Fine. I'll show it. It's time to show it. Look at that. Look at the difference, man. Look at the hair. Just all of that. The jacket. Like I said, I'll show some more at the end. But yeah, man, look at that. That's just freaking awesome. And I know I'm a big Naruto fan, so it might be me being biased just a little bit. But I don't care what anybody says. The only thing that I don't like is that the fact it didn't come with more normal faces. And the reason I want more of those is just because of how bad the other one was. But this figure is just, it's outstanding. And it's got my hopes up pretty high for... Sasuke, Rock Lee, and Itachi. I'm just, I'm ready for all that. Sakura, anything Naruto that's coming out, if they do as well as they did on this figure, I'm getting it without a doubt. This figure is just, 
it's a 10 out of 10, man. But with that said, I'll go ahead and get into the comparison and then I will be done with this review after I give you guys some pictures of it. Now looking at these two side by side, it's pretty obvious which one is better and much more anime accurate. And obviously it's this new one, like I said, because for one, he's a whole lot thinner and it definitely has more of a Naruto feel to it. They fixed up some of the articulation points that were pretty bad on the first one. The hair just looks a million times better. It actually looks like Naruto literally came right out of the show, which is why I just wish it had a little bit more accessories. But I'm definitely glad they came through and fixed this figure. The only thing that I really dislike about it is the fact that the feet are just so small. Small. I, I've noticed they're pretty bad at doing the feet on these guys. They're pretty inaccurate. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. Even Minato's feet are pretty terrible. He can't stand for nothing. But either way, I like the fact that they gave us another one of these. And I can't wait for more Naruto figures, just like I said. So, yeah, if you're a Naruto fan, pick this guy up. Don't wait. Go and get him. You won't regret it.